to the people of Hong Kong, whether they have been fighting for decades for democratic uh, de self-determination or fighting since 1997 to achieve democracy within the framework of one country, two systems, or whether they're simply uh, newly coming of age as democratic citizens uh, in their teens or early 20s and having to take away from college classes or high school classes to uh, express their democratic aspirations and expectations on the streets of Hong Kong and hopefully uh, through other creative means. I hope you all know that Democrats around the world are uh, watching very carefully what you're doing feeling a great deal of inspiration and solidarity by the sacrifices you have already made and the commitment you have shown, and hoping that you as well will be able to uh, adapt your strategies in ways that will continue the struggle without uh, bringing on the kind of um, violent uh, and tragic suppression that happened 25 years ago uh, in Beijing. I think many of the people um, who've been listening to these lectures on democratic development and using other digital means of learning about democracy and following democratic movements and trends in the world probably uh, share the deep concern uh, for and uh, widespread respect for uh, the people in Hong Kong who've taken significant risks to uh, come out and articulate their demand for uh, and their legal and moral right to uh, democratic means of determining their future. It raises uh, a challenging question of what we can do to support them. And I think one thing we can do is remain uh, closely engaged and uh, acutely uh, informed about what's happening and use our social media uh, to uh, inform our friends and colleagues to express to China's government uh, and central political leadership uh, our deep concern for what's happening and our hope and expectation uh, that this will be resolved through peaceful negotiations and not through the use of force in the way ha that happened in Tiananmen Square in 1989, that the international concern for the rights uh, and safety of the people of Hong Kong is not based on anti-China sentiment, or hostility even to the government of the People's Republic of China, but rather um, uh, on an aspiration to see China move to occupy its rightful place among the great nations of the world uh, that are gradually evolving toward more accountable, open, and responsive government. And the more that uh, I think China's leaders can hear from global public opinion that there is an expectation and aspiration for a peaceful and negotiated resolution of this crisis, uh, the more that can help the people in Beijing uh, to have the understanding that can perhaps uh, avoid a terrible tragedy in Hong Kong.